you for supporting the spring roll industry. So we just pulled up the, the truck next to this grease trap. This is a standard size grease trap that you find behind a lot of big restaurants and delis. And when we open the lid, it is almost completely full. I've calculated out these hold about 260 gallons, so that means there's about 240 gallons of oil. I'm going to show you as if we didn't know if this oil was good. I've already used from this restaurant before. But basically what we're doing is just taking a little sample of the oil and looking to see if there's anything we should be concerned about. And it, wow, that's a lot of grease. All right, let's get the pump ready. The, normally all the way out to here and I keep all my tools under. I just took part of it out so I could bring this barrel down. I'm filling it up oh, for the girls. I see. This is kind of my filtration setup. So I've got this is called the golden rod. This goes into the grease trap and then it goes through this washable 40 micron screen before it goes into the pump. This is our 12 volt pump. I've added a lot of extra cord by using duct tape. And then it's going to pass through here. And this is going to be, you know, this will catch anything. Make sure the washer's good. Up here is where the engine coolant is coming in and dropping down into a heat exchanger that's down inside the tank. And this is the fuel selector switch on my truck. This is basically when we're driving around, this is diesel, this is veggie oil. This goes to the motor, this comes back from the motor. And when we're on veggie oil, I've just done a loop and looped the fuel back in that didn't get used because it's now nice and hot. And this just is kind of the heart of the little fuel selector thing. So I've got two batteries on this. If you only had one, you may want to start your car and keep it running during this, but this battery, it's been fine for up to an hour and a half. If I'm after like every 30 minutes, I'll start it, let it run for five minutes. Just didn't have it. Bueno. Bueno. <laughs> So the first thing I look at is down here. If you see a bunch of stuff, you know, hidden in here and your bowl's dirty, you want to stop and, and right there before you take any more oil home. See the sesame seeds coming in, yeah. falling down? Clear braided hose allows you to watch all the oil. If it was sunny, it'd be really nice. Let me see if I got a flash <laughs> And You know, I asked about the performance of the truck. It's just about the same. No, you can't tell the difference. Oh. And you know how much of this stuff is they're just throwing away? Oh, yeah. It goes into dog food, cosmetics, and all sorts. So his son was like six, and they pulled into a gas station. They were just going in to use the bathroom. And his, dad, his son asked his dad, he's like, where are we? What is this? It was a U.S. kid that had just never seen a gas station because his dad's always been oh, running, this? doing this. <laughs> that was kind of cool. engine for where The engine that? improves. It's a much more lubricating fuel. It quiets down the motor and you can stick your head. I'm going to set it up now to where I can actually filter right into my truck. We're kind of filming this to be Is that grease? Yeah. It's not bad. Can I dump it later? Wait up on air displace. About a nose. You know, it's just snug. There's not a lot of pressure there, so. All right, so I just hear it hasn't sunk to the bottom. It's still just about an inch below the surface. Trash doesn't make the oil bad. It's okay, you just yeah. you move it around. About how much fuel we're getting. Yeehaw, liquid gold we call that. This is the old filter now, definitely dirty. $2.50, that thing filtered about 50 gallons of fuel, I'd say, down to five micron. 